Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is the Insane Irishman and this is my review of Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Uh, this game's been out for yonks, a couple of years now, it came out in 2008. Uh, so it's definitely bargain bin time guys and girls and uh, is it a good game though? Uh, it is, it's an enjoyable game. You have three different people you can pick, to, uh, three different characters you can pick to, uh, you know, play the game. Uh, one of them's a girl, and two men. Uh, so for all you ladies out there who like playing games and say there's not enough women characters in games, this is your chance. So let's start with the woman. So basically, this is like uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, free roaming open world game. Only it's uh, more action-packed than Grand Theft Auto. Uh, you get to drive combat helicopters, you get to drive tanks, you get to drive jeeps, you name it, you can drive it. You see it, you can drive it. You blow it, you see it, you can blow it up. This is, uh, you're a mercenary and you can call in airstrikes, you can get weapons dropped off, you can get tanks dropped off, you can all this kind of stuff. And uh, it's a mad little game. And uh, I really enjoyed playing it. It has been a long time since Dakar. I remember Dakar. I remember you. Uh, it is beginning the swords age a bit. It is over three years old now. And uh, I suppose they haven't made a, 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 a sequel to this because uh, it's quite a good game. This is your friend. But I do remember there are a few bugs with this. Uh, you can't have everything. I can tell we're going to get along perfectly. Uh, it's two player co op to the whole campaign. So you can play with a friend online. Uh, there's no multiplayer kind of, you know, a team deathmatch kind of thing. It's just uh, play through with the campaign. I'll show you some of the gameplay now when these guys are finished talking. Anyway, basically after this general for the first mission. As you can see, you're using the E to accelerate. You're not using the right trigger, which means you don't have analog control over the speed. So you have to keep tapping E if you want to go a bit slower. So that's kind of a bit backwards. I don't know if you can change that in the menu. I will have a look. It doesn't seem to be. No. So you're gonna have to use it to accelerate driving your cars, stuff like that. Yeah, the water effect is looking okay, I suppose. But it's gonna uh, seem better. But it is an old game. You definitely find this in the bargain bin. Definitely find it for uh, less than ten. Should I won't be seeing it for ten euros, fifteen euros. Uh, these are the weapons drop. Later on, the lady talking in your head right now is doing them for you. But later on, you can do it all yourself. And uh, there's a good selection of weapons. I'll keep my grenade launcher for later on. Uh, this is just the first, very first mission in the game. Uh, the noise of the guns are good, but they're a bit, a bit inaccurate. Uh, but uh, that adds to the fun of the gunfights, as well as makes them. Uh, Last a bit longer, I think. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Let's change it up to the uh, AK-47. You can uh, pick up any weapon that the bad guys drop. It's not a problem. I'll just uh, open my DP. You've got 
I'll show you how big the map is. Uh, this is your playground. And it is a big fucking playground, it really is. It's a good good size. And uh Yeah, it's a good size playground. I forgot how big this was. I know it doesn't look that big, but trust me, it's big. Okay, that's enough this of this. And this is basically the whole game. You have uh, targets that you have to verify, and you have to go in, and you have to capture people. You can, you have a choice. You can either capture them alive, or you can uh, kill them. You get more money if you capture them alive. This is kind of a mini game for calling an airstrikes. I like big bumps. I've marked the next waypoint. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't really matter what character you pick to play the game. We all kind of have the same skills. Well, they're exactly the same skills, if I can remember. There's no advantage for picking one over the other. It's just your preference, really. Good enough. Let's change it up to uh, the old grenade launcher. Hey, getting hurt. And uh, there is a bit of destructibility to the scenery. It's not much. This was back in 19, 2008. So destructibility wasn't a big thing back then. But uh, it has a little bit. As you can see, the AI isn't the greatest, but there are a lot more of them later on. But they make up for stupidity. They may have got for in numbers. Oh, he was going to throw a grenade at me, cheeky bastard. There's my airdrop for my Jeep. There we go. As I said later on, you can get to fly helicopters and stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to show you in this demo. Anyway, what mounts would I give it out 10? We'll give this a. Hang on, let's see. It is beginning to show its age, it is an old game. It does have a few bugs. You will enjoy it, I'll give it about you know, seven and a half. It's not bad. Oh, I missed it. Excellent. I love spending other people's money. Oh, oh shit. Air support is on the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, hunt it down, guys and girls. Yeah, it's good again. It's not gonna change the world or anything like that, but uh, it's a good little game. I get the impression they don't want me to bring the. Anyway, uh, I will catch you next time. Don't forget to add me as a friend or subscribe to my channel. And, uh, ooh, so ooh, expensive. And, and so easy to hijack. Like I said, you can uh, really get into anything you see. 
yeah, seven and a half, hunted down in your bargain bin, and uh, I will catch you uh, next time. Uh, adios.